Oh, you were saying it as well. As we uh, head here to the uh, finals action here, 1v2 in the 500 tournament for the men's. As uh, we have the East Fremantle Lacrosse Club up against Woodville. And uh, we will be uh, announcing the players onto the field and the officials here today. As the uh, players and officials just get towards, they've tossed the coin for this one. And uh, we're glad to have you live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network as the uh, game will uh, commence very shortly. We're going to, uh, as I said, announce the guys onto the field and uh, hopefully they line up in number order because it will uh, certainly make my job a lot easier as I think the East Fremantle guys are doing exactly that now. And uh, we will, uh, as they get ready, we will announce the officials onto the field. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the 500 tournament here at the beautiful Women's Memorial Lacrosse Fields. And uh, bathed in sunshine, and we will announce the uh, men's officials onto the field for this game. Marty Baker is the head ref. Ricky Smithson, R1. Timmy Kennedy, R2. CBO is uh, Robert Polly Farmer. And uh, the bench official is Zach Tremlett. So congratulations to the guys. And uh, as they make their way out, we will start with the... Uh, East Fremantle uh, men, uh, wearing number one, Mitch Kennedy. Number three, Tegan Hirsch. Number six, Jared Wills. Number seven, Sean Levy. Number eight, Andrew Lang. Number nine, Jed Martella. Number 10, Guadi Reyes. Number... 11 is Lockie Wills. Number 14 is Tommy Richards. Number 15 is Joseph Manning. Number 16, Tony Martella. Number 17, Jean Bronkhorst. And number 22, Tristan Jensen. And they are coached by Sean Levy. And on the Warriors side, led out by number one, Kane Bennett. Number two, Ollie Walsh. Number four, Zach Clothier. Number five, Lewis King. Number seven, Sean Falepa. Number nine, Sam Hissey. Number 10, Dan Falepa. Number 11, Anthony Green. Number 13, Reese Townsley. Number 14, Harry Walsh. Number 15 is Harrison Turner. Dom Lyons wearing number 16, number 20, Jack Inge, number 27, James White, 37 is Jordan Cox, and double zero is Lyndon Southwell. And uh, I would sing the national anthem, but I'm not going to. So uh, guys, have a fantastic uh, game today, and we wish you all the best. as uh, the players head to their uh, respective uh, team huddles. as the uh, teams break for their huddles and uh, as the uh, announcements came on, forgot to uh, just uh, announce the Woodville coaches there. We have Craig Schicker as the head coach with Mark Bahaja. So sorry boys, but uh, 
now you're on the live feed, so you are uh, got your own little spot. And the ball will start in the middle. So uh, these two teams, the last time they met, played in a uh, three-all draw. So if that's anything to go by, we will have a cracking game on here as Ricky and M Marty set. And the first face-off here, Inge, up against Bronkhorst. Looks to be one. Ball kicked out. Nice little uh, toe poke there from uh, Falepa. Sean Falepa picks the ball up. Guarded there by Richards. Richards. And it's Ollie Walsh picks the ball up down the back corner. Guarded there by Manning. Ball kicked up the top here to Jack Inge. Jack Inge up the top to Green. Down to Bennett. And Bennett kicks it down to Townsley. Ball rotating here. Little uh, drive here from Green. Green looks to step inside, kicks the ball down the back. Ball comes over to Townsley. Good cut in there. Finds uh, Jack Inge. Jack Inge just gets uh, monstered and sat on. But uh, let him play, we say. That's what it's all about. Ball still on the deck. Good work there from Guardi Reyes. As, uh, gets absolutely nailed there by uh, Kane Bennett. As uh, the ball comes back up the top. Kicks the ball there to uh, Sean Falepa. Falepa has uh, Reese Townsley going a little left, a little right, and kicks it back up there to uh, Sean. Sean, Kane Bennett with pace. Looks to uh, Sean Falepa, but uh, he um, doesn't quite get a handle on the ball, and Bennett will start with the ball again. Kicks it down there to Reese. Reese looks to uh, work on his short stick opponent there in Bronkhorst. Bronkhorst, Bennett looks to kick the ball down now. Little uh, inside cut. Does come up just too low there is Green. Needed to be higher to take that. Good uh, defensive pressure here from Woodville. Still has the ball. Just gets lost in it. And uh, Tegan Hirsch is off to the races. Gets down. We've seen him try to shoot before. Hirsch, he's made him miss down here. Doesn't miss the other side. Cox with the first save of the game. Ball coming back down the way through Southwell. Southwell kicks the ball up. And we've got an offside here. On green. So the ball will turn over and come up to the centre. And Jed Martella will take that ball. So Martella sends the ball into offence. If you are joining us live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network for this 1v2 game, we welcome you to the beautiful Women's Memorial playing fields. <coughs> As Jed Martella starts up the top, looks to come down the side, fires that one across the uh, face there. And backed up there by Tony Martella. Tony just pops that one up and over. Ball to be won here on the deck. Southwell gets the ball checked out of his stick. Oh, good diving effort, but uh, not able to keep it in. And the ball will come through Lockie uh, Wills. Lockie Wills kicks the ball over there to Bronkhorst. Bronkhorst up against Turner. Back to Lockie Wills. Lockie Wills. Ball back up the top. Kicks the ball down to Tony Martella. Martella kicks to Mitch Kennedy. Zach Cloth here has the job on him. Mitch Kennedy back up to Tony Martella. Ball over to Gene Bronkhorst. Bronkhorst likes what he sees with Turner. Turns him inside, but good defense there from Turner. Down the bottom corner to Wills. Wills picked up by Southwell. Just uh, pushes him away from the cage. Uh, back up the top, ball to be one. Lions, he's been a ground ball machine all weekend. And he's going to need to get another one here. And that might be an interference call with a flag on the play. And we're going to have a uh, slash on uh, Lockie Wills there as Dom Lyons was bringing the ball out. And uh, ball will be in a man-up situation here for Woodville. How do they work this uh, man-up opportunity? Keeper comes out the cage. Looks up the top, kicks it to Dan. I don't know, oh, Harry, what was he doing there? 
just uh, looked to throw it and then thought about uh, not throwing it in the same breath. Kicks up the top to Dan Filippa. Pops it over the left hip of Gawadi Reyes. And the first score is on the board here with about uh, four and a half minutes gone. And that will go to Dan Filippa who rips one on the uh, hip side. And Filippa opening the scoring here. So both teams with uh, an opportunity on the cage. Woodville making the most of, uh, of theirs. And uh, the ball will start back in the middle. Inge up against Bronkhorst. Inge, Bronkhorst, Inge works the, way, works the ball out the back. Finds uh, Hissy, just gets bowled over. Good pick up there from James White. James White. Under motor, just on the bottom hand, needs to get rid of the ball now. He's under massive pressure, and we got a timeout, a timely timeout there as White uh, gets monstered, and the coaching staff there of Craig Schicker calling the timeout. Whitey running into two long sticks there with his long stick himself, a perfect timeout to keep possession here. And that's why coaches get paid the big bucks, but they need to make big decisions. They make them. And I believe they get one uh, time out of half uh, in this as uh, 10 minute, uh, 10 minute uh, quarters. And they will set up their offense out here. So East Fremantle just having to chat about the defense down there. So a man up goal scored in the first one there from Falepa. So ball will Start with Woodville down here in a six on six scenario in the offensive uh, end. As the uh, two teams come back out on the field. So offense for Woodville, we see Green, Walsh, Townsley, Sean Falepa, Sam Hissey and Kane Bennett into offense for uh, for Woodville. And on the defensive end, we got Jensen, Bronkhorst, Richards, Hirsch, Manning, and Jared Wills. And that might turn over. And that was uh, not the uh, thing that the Woodville guys would have been looking at. And the uh, fast ball movement forward for uh, East Frio and a uh, good take there from Bonkhorst in the one hand. So uh, Woodville using a timeout only to uh, turn the ball over and giving uh, East Fremantle an opportunity here. Kicks it to Jed Martella. Jed Martella over to Mitch Kennedy. Kennedy against Cloth here. Kennedy looks inside. Oh, at the bottom. Great pick up there from Sean Falepa. And for Lepper and uh, Martella, there's a running race. I'd like to see good uh, pace there from Green to uh, get up under massive pressure there from Richards. Richards now with Walsh. Walsh guarded by Manning. Harry Walsh kicks the ball back over here to uh, Sean for Lepper on the left. Fires and Green just uh, pushes his head out the way as the ball uh, singed past his nose. And Anthony Green... Getting the ball back. So Green kicks the ball up here to Sean Falepa. Falepa. Over to Harry Walsh. Kane Bennett looking to uh, run a rotation here. Oh, Bennett gets down, pops down, and pops that one to the right-hand post of the uh, keeper there. And backed up by Reese Townsley. Currently 1-0 here in the first quarter. With limited time, about two and a half to go on the clock. Harry Walsh, little flip, kicks up to Falepa. Falepa down to Townsley. Townsley looks over to Green. Green looks up. Ah, oh, good little take there from Harry Walsh. Just unable to put it in. Little quick stick. And good work there from the Warriors. Just uh, almost need to time that cut just that little bit later to give him a bit more angle. And the ball down there with Townsley. Townsley going about his work. Looks up the top. Great take there from Ollie Walsh. Ollie Walsh just settles it down. He has Manning on him. And Walsh taking to the back corner. 
Asks his uh, brother to uh, step in and give a hand. Ollie Walsh looks up, kicks it down to uh, Philippa, and Philippa sends that one out onto the main road. If there's cars going past, watch the dent in the uh, door. That's Philippa. Just lets that one fly. And ball down with Harry Walsh. We're hearing a minute 50 on the uh, game clock. Sean Philippa looks to come inside, does get inside. Good uh, pressure there, oh, throws the fake, looks down again, fires, and that one's gone wide. Walsh with the backup, Ollie Walsh looking to uh, reset. Ball up the top here to Townsley, kicks it to Green. Green looks back down, not going to give it to Harry Walsh. Kicks it to Townsley, and Kane Bennett will start this offense again. Looking to come down that left-hand pipe, rolls up, finds Green, or doesn't find Green, but uh, using his pace to uh, get the back up there from that... Uh, Inherent throw, and ball comes over here to Sean Philippa. Philippa, down to Walsh. Walsh to his brother Ollie. Ollie coming up on the side on this side. Looks down on the bottom. Harry Walsh is by himself. Ah, oh, tries the swim swim move there. But I tell you what, Tegan Hirsch says, uh, "I've uh, been in a pool before." As Broncos comes down, limited time, and Broncos just uh, getting some uh, love there. Ball turning over. And ball to be won. Dom Lyons coming out again, trying to get a ground ball. Straight through goes Lyons, but uh, Harry Walsh will pick the ball up. Not much time left in this first quarter as Jordan Cox comes up the top. So clock comes on the field with 30 seconds to go. Green gets the ball. Dan Filippa looks at coming through the middle. Dan Filippa hasn't been picked up yet. Still hasn't been picked up. Ball down the back, tiptoe on the line. Left than 15 to go. Ollie Wall steps in, fires. And the ball will go out of bounds. And seven seconds left on the clock. Dan Philippa. So seven seconds on the clock. Can we, can we get a quick shot here? Looks to come off. Green fires, great save there by Guardi, but there's a flag on the play. And we're going to see a uh, penalty here as uh, Tom Richards wears a uh, penalty there for an unnecessary roughness call as uh, Philippa, I think, got nutted in the middle. But uh, limited time, so I'd suggest Woodville will hold the ball here with only about three seconds left on the clock. And then we'll start uh, in a man-up situation at the start of the second. Four seconds. And they will uh, just hold the ball for the end of the quarter. So Woodville, 1-0 after quarter one. Here in the men's 1v2 game. We'll start with possession in the second quarter. And they uh, will be in a man-up situation with about... 52 seconds left on that penalty, but a good start to a, a good game, and we see why they were three all in the last game they played, as these two were having an arm wrestle at the moment. And a 1-0 game. So Woodville will be talking about how they're going to run this man up opportunity and just try to extend that to two. And East Fremantle with two minutes to talk about how they're going to shut down this 52 seconds left in this penalty. And the Warriors looking to start off this second quarter in style with the man up opportunity. Goal scorer for that quarter was in a, another man up opportunity. So the only goal has been scored. Nothing in six on six at the moment. But Dan Philippa getting one in the man up where he uh, just found his way straight to here as the replay comes on. Man up, you see him sitting up top centre here. No slide comes to him. He steps down about 10 metres and uh, rips it just over the hip there of uh, Guardi. Reyes and ball ends up in the back of the net to be the only score of the first quarter. And uh, as with these men's games, they have been arm wrestles right throughout the competition. But we see Woodville heading out to run their power play opportunity here. 
Just about to start the second term. As the ball is down the back corner there, Ricky Smithson will put the ball in Sean Philippa's stick. Smithson blows time on. So about 52 seconds in this man up here for uh, the Warriors. As Walsh starts to run the back uh, wheel, looks up. Finds Philippa, the goal scorer, kicks it to Walsh. Walsh fires and pops at top corner. And there's another man up opportunity. So these Frio will uh, want to stay out of the box. But uh, great shot there from Harry Walsh to start the second term. And Harry Walsh with goal number two for the Warriors. His first of the game and the quarter. And uh, another man up goal there for Woodville. So ball will come back into the centre. Walsh with a step down from about the same uh, distance as Dan Philippa in the first man up. And penalty isn't far from being released. Five seconds, ball comes out. Contest to be had. Bronkos just uses his muscle to uh, push uh, Inji away. Here's Richards. He doesn't mind firing a ball if he has an opportunity. Kicks the ball in there. Kicks it to Tegan Hirsch. Hirsch. Looks to get it back. Richards, he does rip a ball. And that has uh, disappeared through the fence into the water. And uh, just like my golf balls do on the golf course, straight through uh, the rough into the water. And ball finds the uh, way into uh, Sean Levy's stick. Kicks it to Jed Martella. Just makes him stretch a little. Finds Jensen. Jensen. And we've got even numbers again now. Ball out there with Kennedy. Kennedy looking to uh, take on Zach Clothier. Clothier just uh, making him work. King slides off. Oh, throws it off. And here's a ball for the uh, spectators. That one's uh, just under Gilly's car. He won't give that one back. So uh, ball is easy enough to get as uh, Jack Inge uh, finds his way through the uh, rough out here. And we'll bring it back onto the fairway. So Jack Inge up against uh, Bronkhorst and uses the long stick defender and now uh, creates space as Dan Philippa finds his way up to the centre and Sam Hissey comes on and there's the option there. So Sam Hissey all by himself there, great outlet there from Geordie Cox and looks down, oh, that was actually uh, not the worst pass in the world and if it comes off, uh, Woodville will have an opportunity and that might be a ward. So uh, it is a ward. And um, ball will start back in the stick of East Fremantle. As it comes down through uh, Jed Martella. Whitey with a long stick. Just looking at uh, taking him down. He's a lefty, so uh, he'll want to... Uh, oh, great check there from White. Ball comes off uh, green stick. Now off blue steps, almost out of bounds there. As uh, Martella uh, just tiptoed the tulips on the white line and managed to uh, get the ball and keep it in. And Martella with an opportunity. Cox, big save. Ball bounces out here to Lockie Wills. Lockie Wills kicks the ball back up to uh, Bronkhorst and they settle offense again. Still a 1-2-0 game, sorry, here. And Lockie Wills comes up. Against Zach Clothier. Clothier, who's uh, back to full time lacrosse after also coming off a, a MCL or a, uh, sorry, ACL injury. Good pick up there from Dan Philippa. Philippa has pace, he has inside, he has King. King leaves the ball behind. The ball comes back the other way. Opportunity here for East Fremantle. There are players around. Oh, Levy looks in and pops it away. And Sean Levy, in the blink of an eye, with the ball being thrown behind King there, managed to uh, turn the ball over. There were blue shirts who hadn't uh, filled it up the field. Levy found the ball in his stick and good enough to uh, pop that one behind Cox. And East Freeman will get on the board and bring it to a 2-1 game. And Levy gets his first of the game. And first of the second quarter here. 
So Ball back in the centre. Bronkhorst up against Inge. Oh, Bronkhorst just uh, muscles uh, Inge onto the ground and walks over him. But uh, Jack has some pace. He doesn't want to stick that arm out too far. Ball comes in. Oh, throws it over the head. Uh, definitely won't be called a shot, that one. And uh, Ball will come back the other way. So Lewis King <laughs> picks the ball up and uh, TK just uh, agreeing with the uh, commentary here as Lewis King, Lewis King tries to get one out of the uh, long grass and TK agreeing that uh, that really wasn't a shot. So ball in the stick of King, kicks it to Geordie Cox and uh, Geordie Cox will bring the ball up. It's like a slow parade from my angle here, almost in a line, the uh, official and uh, the two, uh, as uh, Cox just uh, looks at his options. Reese Townsley asking it for a down the back as we see Anthony Green come up and take the ball. He's pressured there by Jensen, but uh, good enough to uh, get the ball down in the back corner here to Ollie Walsh. Walsh kicks the ball over here to Reese Townsley and they will uh, start some uh, structured offense down here at the Warriors. Currently leading 2-1 if you're just joining us on the Australian Lacrosse Network for this 500 tournament. Ball kicks over here to Dan Falepa. Falepa picking up Lockie Wills, little flip. Kicks the ball to Bennett. Bennett looks to go inside, doesn't. Kicks the ball to Reese. Reese looking up, looking for a cutter. Sean Falepa backs off. Good work there from uh, Ollie Walsh just to give himself some space and extract himself there from Richards. Richards. And the ball comes back up to Bennett. Bennett uses his pace, but uh, not quick enough to get away from Hirsch, who has some uh, wheels of his own. Down to Falepa. Falepa. Townsley. Looking against his opponent there in Jared Wills. Wants to drag him out, but Jared says, well, I'm not going out that far if I don't need to. Pick comes to be set. Little two-man game on the back door here. Townsley looks to get inside. Fires. Oh, a little uh, question mark uh, shot there. Just came up, rolled backwards and uh, fired it as he rolled over the top. And ball misses the cage. Comes back in here from Dan Falepa. Up against uh, Jared Wills. Just gets through. Gets picked up. Double comes. Must be a man open here. Great pick off there from uh, Gawadi Reyes. And he was all over that. Knew what was happening there. And Gawadi will uh, bring the ball out. As uh, Tristan Jensen running uh, Reese. Townsley around there. And uh, Guardi just looking at uh, potentially coming up and over himself. Has he got a, uh, is he a runner here? Good look inside. Oh, just uh, doesn't quite uh, make that happen. And ball may come back the other way. Kicked to Dan. And Dan Falepa getting a couple of uh, little reminders that uh, Lockie Wills is uh, playing on him. And uh, Lockie Wills just uh, gets a little flop there. There's, there should have been a card almost for a flop. Gets a little push at the end of it. But that'll be a, uh, that'll be a push called, I'd suggest. And uh, it is so a uh, loose, a uh, with possession push. And uh, Lockie Wills will find his uh, way for a 30 second penalty. And we've seen the only goals for Woodville at the moment come in the form of uh, this power play situation, running it really well, all coming from top centre. So ball now to Dan Falepa. Falepa kicks the ball down here to Townsley. Townsley back to Walsh, who uh, reverses it, comes back to Townsley, looking on this uh, to run on this as Falepa looks. And that's Sean Falepa and misses the cage. And that one goes wide, but... Uh, Townsley will pick it up as the uh, penalty is soon to be released. So they need to run this quickly if they're going to have an opportunity. Ball kicks up, kicks it to Dan Falepa, back to Sean Falepa. Sean looks to bring the ball down up the top. Dan Falepa has uh, even numbers ahead. And Bennett will kick the ball down here to Ollie Walsh. So ball down in the back corner. 
About a minute to go in the quarter, we're hearing. And that will uh, round out this first half. Low scoring affair, currently 2-1 with uh, Woodville just leading over East Fremantle. Walsh looking to do some work. Can uh, Woodville get one on the uh, halftime whistle as the clock comes on the field now? L limited time, 20 seconds in the quarter. Ball kicks down here to Green. Little one to Walsh. Walsh drives up left, tries to get up top side on left. Just runs into the uh, defender. Needs to move the ball on if they're going to get a shot. Opens up the other side, does Bennett. Oh, just tries to, I don't know whether that was a shot or a pass, but uh, it's deemed a pass, I believe. So, yep, the uh, Zebras are right on that. That certainly was a pass. And the uh, ball will be taken down in the back corner by uh, Jed Martella. And two seconds left in the quarter. No penalties to be given. And that will uh, end the first half as Timmy Kennedy blows his whistle to uh, end that first half of lacrosse. As we see Woodville currently two, leading East Fremantle one. And uh, only two goal scorers in that quarter we saw uh, for East Fremantle getting on the board we had uh, Sean Levy and uh, in another power play situation Harry Walsh uh, managed to uh, find the back of the net as well and it ends up 2-1 at half time here Woodville over East Frio I might have a look on the socials just to see who's uh, up and about here and we had Howard Townsend, he says, uh, let's go, Warriors. Howard, watching uh, Reese there. G'day, Howard, hope you're well. Bev Levy says, go, Blue Boys. Have a good one, Thomas. Jonica Kennedy says, go, Blues. And uh, Bev Levy just saying, bad luck, Teague. He uh, gave it a crack. Um, Jade Mangan is online. Simon Wood Ringwood says, uh, just yellow and gold hearts. And uh, we got uh, Neil Parker, Bob Benger, Lockie McNabb, Rob Lawson online, Anthony Philippa, Jacob Dunn. And uh, Bev Levy says, well done, Lockie, and great finish, Sean. And uh, we might just have a look at the replays here as uh, Gilly sets them up. And uh, this one here is uh, Harry Walsh, who uh, stepped down for the uh, man up goal there. Just see him uh, get the top. And this is the one that turns over, comes back the other way. Great camera angle there. Finds Levy on the bottom. Just able to get inside and uh, just found that top uh, left-hand corner and popped it away. And they were the only scores for the second quarter. We have a 2-1 game here. Woodville leading at half time. We might just have a quick break and uh, we'll be back very shortly.
As the uh, teams come out of the half-time break, here we see Woodville leading 2-1 against East Fremantle. And uh, I've got to say, we've had uh, three draws in this competition so far. I haven't been able to have my uh, beloved golden goal. Have we set this game up for exactly that? And will we go to golden goal? Let us know what your thoughts are at the moment. Who do you think is going to uh, end up winning this one? They had a three-all draw last time they played. It's looking very similar at the moment. And ball will be set down in the middle here as we see Bronkhorst in there up against Inge. Bronkhorst flicks the ball out but uh, comes off the leg of Inge. Picked up by Harry Walsh. He goes swimming and we're going to have a ward there as uh, the ball is dropped by uh, Harry Walsh. And Jed Martella will uh, bring the ball back into offence for East Fremantle. Have they got an early one in their arsenal here after half time? They would have had a conversation about uh, where their best offensive forays should be. And White, he's uh, picked up a long stick for the first time uh, and playing exceptionally well at the moment. But Martella holds the ball well. Just when he hangs it out the back there, as Lockie Wills picks the ball up, kicks the ball onto the deck of... Uh, Jensen, Jensen looks at Inge. Jensen, oh, just drops the ball and Inge just uh, fires the ball down the field. Jensen, oh, good check, great check. But we're going to have a uh, hold there, loose ball hold. So a loose ball hold, I believe, was called. Oh, Dan. Falepa looks to step in to the offensive end. Picked up by Townsley. Townsley goes to look at the flip. Doesn't give it to uh, Inge. Inge looks to reset. Ball kicked up and over. Townsley down the back. Little cut there from Inge. Oh, Falepa opens up on the back side. So does Green. Green under pressure from uh, Manning. Manning. And Green passes the ball down here to uh, Walsh. He's picked up by Richards. Oh, nearly uh, the confusion, but good work there from Richards. Just saying uh, good defensive talk down there from Richards. Just playing sides down there. Ball here with Walsh up against Jed Martella. Looking to come back around on the left. Little flip. Oh, ticks off the post. Pops inside. And a uh, little shovel shot there as uh, Guardi and uh, Walsh come up against each other. Ball to be won. Ball is one there by Gawadi Re Reyes. Gawadi Reyes just wearing one on the hip and does a great job for the East Fremantle faithful. Uh, they love the work he's done there. Just down here with Alongi. Looks to uh, get inside to free the hands. Not able to do it. Kicks it to the goal scorer there in Levy. And Levy will kick the ball back up to Jensen. Jensen over to Levy. Guarded there by King. Levy looks to roll back on his trusty left. King just pushes him off. He's uh, seen that before, has uh, Cox. Cox gives that one, oh, just sets that up, actually. Uh, ball to be won here, and Inge, he will fight hard for the ball. Great uh, pick up there, almost from, oh, crunch goes the uh, players. Inge goes down. So does Lockie Wills, but all players up safe and sound. And just a good contest there as... Uh, Tegan Hirsch goes to find his man, just holding his back slightly. And ball down in the offensive end. And we have an offside here on green, so the ball will turn over. So we have a offside here on green so an opportunity here for East Fremantle to tie this one back up as Woodville had too many down in the defensive end and they'll now have to uh, see this power play by uh, East Frio looks to come up, looks to get inside kicks it to the left, kicks it over there to Martella, Martella fires it past and well backed up down there by Jensen Jensen goes to retrieve the ball. A lot easier to find it down that end rather than the long grass the other end. So Jensen brings the ball into Lockie Wills. 
It's only a 30 second penalty. So steps down, popped, and that one's fired to the right of the left hand pipe. And Mitch Kennedy and the power play runs out. Back to a six on six contest in the offensive end here for East Fremantle. Ball over here with Lockie Wills. Looks to uh, roll up and down. Back up the top to Jensen. Jensen fires and uh, fires that one to the right. And that's going to be backed up there by the keeper. No backup from East Fremantle. And Woodville will bring the ball back into offense as uh, Sam Hissey comes on the park for Woodville. Sean Falepa looking at getting down the field. Just runs away from... Uh, Sean Levy kicks the ball down the back and uh, just falls over after doing it. So Ollie Walsh has the ball. Kicks it to Sean Falepa, back up the top to Harry Walsh. Kicks it over here to Sam Hissy. Hissy looks down, doesn't like what he sees. Kicks the ball back now to Walsh who kicks it to Falepa. Sean sets the rotation in motion. Kicks it to Green. Green, little cut comes off there. Walsh picks up, fires, just... Uh, had some angle, but uh, really did uh, rip that one. And ball will end up back with the Warriors. And Falepa will bring it in. So Falepa looking at getting inside to Walsh. Walsh almost able to free his arms there. Thought about uh, turning and, uh, and firing. But Sam Hissey. Looking to uh, run the rotation here. Ball kicked down the back. Kicked up and over. Finds uh, Sean Falepa. Sean Falepa looks to play the two-man game. Does. Opens up the other side. Looks to roll back in. Good work. Good fake there, but great to defense. It's Sean Falepa. Kicks the ball out over the top. Ball to be one on the deck. Harry Walsh goes in. Picks it up. Harry Walsh, great pick up. Gawadi Reyes with a fantastic save on the crease. And Goati will uh, bring the ball up here for East Fremantle. So what is already a tight game is keeping really tight. Wills comes on, finds him through the middle, turns and finds Turner. Turner just rolls off there, does uh, Wills. And Wills picks up Harrison Turner. And ball comes up here to Tristan Jensen. So Tristan Jensen at the top, ball kicks down now, gets inside, Martella, good work there from Geordie Cox, hasn't let much in there, 2.48 to go in the quarter. That should be, I was going to say, if uh, if the in possession there and blew her in the crease, that almost should have been a flag, I would have suggested, but uh, ball will come back the other way now. As uh, Tegan Hirsch gets through this, and he doesn't mind firing a ball, flag on the play. So he still gets through and tries to fire it as uh, just goes up and over the top, does Dan Falepa. And we're going to have a one minute slash here, I believe. And that will go on Kane Bennett. So a power play opportunity to try and tie it up here with about two minutes to go in the third term. Really low scoring game at 2-1 with 10 minute quarters. So it is an arm wrestle out there. But what does Mitch Kennedy have to say about this? You don't want to let him uh, step down the top. He doesn't mind firing a, a quick ball, Tony Martella. Oh, tink, tink, tink off the bar. As a great pick up there from uh, Harry Walsh. But great shot there from uh, Bronkhorst. Just found the bar. Opportunity presents here. And ball being asked to be held. So under two minutes to go in this contest. Three-quarter time. It is a tight affair here. And Anthony Green brings the ball out the side. Tries to find Dan Falepa. But Jed Martella is all over that as Sean Falepa just gets the ball rolled to him on the outer side here. So Sean Falepa kicks the ball down into Green. Anthony Green, guarded by Tegan Hirsch. Kicks the ball down to Ollie Walsh. Double coming down the back there as uh, penalty is still on the play here. Ollie Walsh 
under pressure from the two uh, guys. Inside comes Townsley. So an opportunity here for Woodville. Looks down the bottom, finds Green. Green, great save again by Gawadi Rees. And we're going to have another penalty here, are we? Under the stick is possession. So uh, I would suggest that uh, there might be a 30-second penalty coming here. So we're going to uh, have this assessed. And he's saying the stick was up when the check happened. So uh, ball will come out here through Richards. Richards looks to, uh, can he go coast to coast? About a minute to go in this third term. Great check from uh, Ollie Walsh. Oh, that could be a, a moving pick, but isn't. Dan Philippa looks down to Townsley. Townsley pops that one up and over the top. And Townsley gets his own back up. <coughs> Ten seconds on the uh, clock we're hearing. So limited time in this third. Ten seconds. Have Woodville got a quick release and shot here. As the uh, six seconds on the clock. Opportunity here. Gawadi looks up. And a little bit going on down the back there. As uh, we see two flags thrown. There wasn't actually much in that. They're both holding each other's stick and flopped like the uh, fish it was, both of them. And send them both for a flop, I say. I would suggest that there's going to be two penalties here and it should both be for flopping. And if you uh, can't get a red card for that. So we're going to assess these penalties. But I would suggest there'll be two people in the box here, one for each side, as the half-time whistle will sound. And uh, a scoreless quarter still sees us at 2-1. Have we got a cracking uh, first game for or fourth quarter coming up? And we'll just find out what these penalties are. Simultaneous. Green seven, illegal body for one. Okay, so there's a two minute penalty there and a one minute penalty. So uh, it will be uneven time as there was a one minute penalty given there to uh, Sean Philippa and I'm hearing that Jared Wills will sit for the uh, for the green I don't necessarily think it was on Wills because I think it was a keeper Gawadi Rees who uh, obviously not having another keeper will sit the in home for him but he gets a two minute penalty for uh, an unsportsmanlike so uh, one minute to Woodville, two minutes to East Frio. We have a 2-1 game here at three-quarter time. And uh, if Woodville can, uh, the ball will start with the face-off. As uh, they worked all that out. And three-quarter time here. Let's have a look and see who's online. See what you thought about that. I thought both players just held each other and, and went down quicker than uh, me on an ice rink. So, Greggy Larwood's watching. Mikko Lachlan says, come on, Warriors. Steve Mortimer's watching. Tom Vick's watching. Tom Vick's over there watching. Uh, Dylan Wood says, Reese Townsley, second half hat-trick. Warriors, 7-3. He's given a prediction. Dom Kildare, Bev Levy says, well done. Guardi. And he's doing a great job in the cage, is uh, Guardi Reyes. And Lockie Alexander's online. Luke Shuey, Gav Levy. G'day, Gav. Pete Brown, Lucas Hansford, Braden Munn, Tommy Tuxford, Frenchie online. G'day, Frenchie. Watching again over in Perth. <clears throat> Jacob Miller, Tommy Polden. G'day, Tommy. Hope you're well, buddy. And Amy Milbank is here somewhere too watching. So uh, we welcome you all live and free to the Australian Lacrosse Network. And Nathan Rainey, the great man, says great job, ALN. And uh, it is a great job. Here, I think we've got uh, Callan up on the uh, camera again there for this game. So shout out to uh, Callan Emerson, who's doing a fantastic job. He's, he's 
fifth game up there already. I'll tell you what, we might have found a cameraman of the future. And um, Ball will start with, oh, sorry, Ball will start with Green as uneven penalties. So it's two, two to one, start from the centre. But they both will be uh, man down. So five on five here. And that will be due to the uneven nature of the penalties. So two minutes to East Frio, one minute to Woodville. But five on five. So if Woodville can hold this out, they'll go into a power play situation again for a minute. I'd suggest if they try and hold it out for a minute, there'll be a stall call coming. Little flip coming up. Kicks it down the back here to Walsh. Walsh up the top, looks to uh, Townsy. Townsy inside, roll! With the little backhand uh, underneath shot. That had power on it. Found its way up and over the top of the bar. And backed up there by Ollie Walsh. Walsh kicks it up to Bennett. Bennett kicks it over there to Harry Walsh, who kicks it back to Reese Townsley, who says, no, you have it, Harry. Thanks very much. Over to Kane Bennett. Kane Bennett picks up the shorty in Broncos. Little flip comes up to Harry Walsh. Down the back. Kicks across to the left-hand side. Great cut there from uh, Kane Bennett. Kane Bennett being worn, though, there by Levy with a long stick now. He's a goal scorer. And uh, we have a man-up opportunity here now for the Warriors. So 2-1 game, really tight game on the scoreboard. Man-up opportunity. The two goals that have come from the Warriors have been in these power play situations. So rotation starts to happen. Walsh kicks up, looks up the top to Bennett. Bennett got a couple up there yesterday with a bounce shot. He will try again, bounces again. And that one there skids through. And Kane Bennett, that was his shooting range yesterday from exactly that spot. Loved it in the man up. And another power play goal there for the Warriors. And we've got a uh, timeout here to uh, stop the clock there, I believe, on the uh, Warriors. And uh, good coaching there. So a good uh, time out there for the coaching staff of the Warriors because they get an opportunity to stop that clock at 22 seconds, we're hearing, and uh, maybe get another quick possession out and make it a, a two-goal play. But Kane Bennett getting in the action and out to a uh, three-to-one lead now. And another power play opportunity so all the goals for Woodville today have uh, have come in uh, power play opportunities so power play with 22 seconds and uh, we'll get the time on the clock very shortly as well as the uh, players will head to the face off and that will be through Jack Inge and uh, Jean Bronkhorst <coughs> As uh, Tony Martella just finds his way off the field to allow uh, a defender onto the field if necessary. Ball back in the centre. Inge up against Broncos. Inge wins the ball out the face. Gets it uh, forward. Opportunity here. Just over the head of Green. And uh, Green trying to track that one down. And does right on the boundary. So about 10 seconds left on this power play for uh, the Warriors. As Bennett picks the right-hand side here. And we see uh, ball fired up and over. Hits the back uh, cage there. No damage done there from the shot of Bennett. And we're now into a six-on-six -six situation. As a flag is thrown again. So maybe an illegal substitution here. Flepper fires one over. We'll find out exactly what this is. And we're going to have an illegal procedure. Offside, okay. So offside, so penalty wasn't released. He released over the uh, halfway line, thinking the penalty was released, and he's going to sit for another 30-second penalty. So Woodville with another opportunity here in a power play. All goals coming through that this, uh, this game. Bennett gets pressure out to uh, Dan Falepa. Falepa to Sean Falepa, down the back here to Green. Green. Down there to Ollie Walsh. Walsh looks up. Nothing on offer. Kicks it back there to Sean. Over to Dan. To Bennett. Rotation comes there from Townsley. Townsley runs the back rotation. Takes through X. Walsh comes to the centre. Fires there from uh, Sean for Lepper. Great save there by uh, Guardi Reyes. 
and ball will start and option opens up the field here to Jensen. Jensen, that's uh, an, a great outlet there and ball will come inside here through Jensen. Fantastic outlet there from Reyes. Reyes uh, finding Jensen who kicks it to Jed Martella. Martella guarded by King looking to try and take away that left hand side and, and roll him back on his right. Martella up top. Got about six minutes to go in this uh, second. Fires, pops that one past, and that's going to be backed up there by Zach Clothier. The long legs of Clothier just uh, getting the upper hand. And Zach Clothier, even in the long grass, looks like he's uh, taller than most of us as the ball comes back to him in the back corner. So Zach Clothier will bring the ball in. Geordie Cox gets the ball now. And Clothier will walk up with Geordie Cox. Tom Lyons also walking up on the right-hand side with him. So Cox looking for an option. Hissy opens up on the right-hand side. Good work there from Ollie Walsh. Good motors uh, in this game as Ollie Walsh tries to go through uh, some uh, East Fremantle defenders and does. Ollie Walsh. Hanging it out, but uh, good cut there from uh, Sam Hissey, but not regarded. Fired there from Kane Bennett. I'll tell you what, Kane Bennett's brought his uh, shooting stick today. Doesn't mind uh, letting him rip when he gets an opportunity. And ball buck backed up here and will be brought in there by Ollie Walsh. So Walsh to Sean. Looks to... Uh, Bring the ball down to Sean and uh, invert the uh, short stick defender down there. Just uh, get bowled over, does Reese, And uh, Sean Falepa kicks it up there to Bennett. Bennett over to Hissy. Sam Hissy gets the ball back now from Walsh. Looks to uh, work on this uh, right-hand side, does Bennett. He's got quick feet, has Bennett. Looks, kicks the ball down. Bennett rolls out. Looks to uh, up the top. Ball gets uh, almost intercepted there by the long stick. And uh, Sam Hissey making uh, Townsley stretch. We've got about five minutes left in this, uh, sorry, four and a half minutes left in this fourth quarter. So East Frio are going to need to get the ball back. Great save again there by Gowardi as ball is uh, to be won. Ball is uh, in a ruck down there. Players are going flying left, right and centre. We're going to have a loose ball push there. And that ball will end up with East Frio. So two goals down with about four minutes to go in this contest. Can East Frio put one on the board and put a little bit of mental pressure on the Warriors? Can we head to a golden goal game or are we going to uh, eke this out? Oh, great pick in the pockets there is Walsh. Good work there from Green. Brings the ball back up and over. But uh, might uh, have been at Bennett loses his stick. Ball picked up. And we're going to have a timeout charged here to East Frio. And East Frio winning the ball back. So they have about 3 minutes 40 left in this contest. And they need to get two goals to tie this one up and set it to an overtime game. And boy, am I hoping that happens. Currently, 3-1 here. Only goal scorer for the quarter was uh, Kane Bennett in a... Power play or man up opportunity. So the offense here for East Frio will have a conversation and see how they're going to get these two goals uh, back on the board and send it to an OT game. So 3.21 on the clock we're hearing as this timeout has been had by East Fremantle. So plenty of time for East Fremantle. There is only two goals, but uh, if they can get one quickly here, just puts that little bit of mental pressure on the uh, Woodville guys, and anything can happen. We've seen it in lacrosse. You can score four goals in this time, but they're going to uh, take the ball out here through Jed Martella. So have the East Frio guys got an answer? as Sean Levy comes out and he's gonna take the ball off Martella. 
So as the players head back to their respective positions, and uh, we're just uh, awaiting everyone to be in position. So just waiting for the goalie to put his helmet on down the other end. And here we go. So three minutes, 21 left in the contest. Ball comes down here to Lockie Wills. Picked up by James White. Lockie Wills. Can he get topside? He does get topside. Fires and pops it away. And there's a quick reply from East Fremantle. Bringing it back to a 3-2 game. That one took uh, 19 seconds off the clock to put one in the back of the net. And three minutes and one seconds left on the clock. And we see there Lockie Wills getting on the board. And it is a 3-2 game. Do we have a golden goal in our midst? Oh, I hope so. So ball goes back into the centre. Big uh, face off. Three minutes and one seconds left in this contest. Quick reply there from East Frio. So ball comes out. Bronkhorst fighting against Inge. Just uh, working for the ball. Kicks the ball out. Ball still to be won. Just uh, loose ball contact there. That might uh, be a green ball here. So Sean Falepa will take the ball eventually. And uh, ball will start now in a green stick. So three minutes to go in this contest. Falepa kicks the ball down to green. Going to have to get out and pressure these uh, sticks here to try and turn it over. So two minutes is the call. So two minutes left in the contest. Ball down with Walsh. Walsh, can uh, Frio get the ball back? Or can uh, Woodville just hold this out? 3-2 is the uh, score. Woodville looking to get up top side. Bennett up against Jensen. One and a half left in the contest. They're going to have to push this ball out. East Frio if they want to get it back. One and a half in the contest. Looks to uh, go to Walsh. Walsh up to for Lepper, for Lepper, to Bennett, back to Falepa. They'll just work the ball around here. We might see even see a stall call coming on here if they don't attack the cage. Ben, oh, there it is. That'll be the game winner from Green with uh, about a minute to go in this contest. Anthony Green comes around the left-hand pipe, just uh, rolls the backhand shot. We see here on the replay, Green gets up topside, rolls the ball around, and uh, Anthony Green will put that one away. It is a 4-2 game here, and with that, under a minute to go, you would expect that that will probably be enough for Woodville to run out to winners here in what is a very low-scoring game. Ball back in the middle. Bronkhorst needs to kick it out. Oh, great pick up from Jensen. Jensen might have some other ideas. Transition goal. Looks to go inside. Gets uh, held there, but uh, no call. Kennedy fires it over. And there's another one for the crowd as the ball goes out of bounds and uh, ball will come in through Jack Inge. Jack Inge picks the ball up, looks to go forward to Sam Hissy, misses Hissy. Ball kicks back the other way. So have they got an opportunity here? So need to uh, get a shot off pretty quickly here as the clock is about to uh, come on the field and we have a goal there. And the Freeze Frio haven't given this one up yet. And ball goes in the cage. And uh, we're going to have a timeout here on blue. 3-4 game. We'll get a uh, how much in the, in the uh, clock here. 40 seconds. So still plenty of time to tie it up. And we see... Uh, I was going that hard. I didn't see who scored that last goal. I think it, uh, we might have a look in the replay here. So 3-4, uh, so haven't given it up yet, East Fremantle. 40 seconds left on the clock, ball turned over. Gets to Jensen, Jensen looks outside. Oh, fires, there's a the, uh, big man there in uh, Mitch Kennedy just uh, ripping twine with that one. And Mitch getting his first of the game. And uh, Mitch Kennedy bringing the score back to 3-4. 40 seconds left, huge, huge face-off here for the uh, two teams. 
in what has been a very entertaining game. And uh, looking online, let's have a look uh, what we've got here. Bev Leesy says, woo, Lockie. Nice one, Lockie. And Bev says, I love a golden goal game to watch. Well, Bev, I love calling one. You know that. Sammy Boonches is watching. Simon's watching. Kylie and Nick Clothier also watching. And uh, Kirsten McGurr and Ashley Clark also online. Good to see you all joining the Australian Lacrosse Network. We've got 40 seconds left. Can we send this to a golden goal opportunity? Ball needs to be won out the centre. We've got Inge up against Bronckhorst. These guys have been battling each other all day. Inge, Bronckhorst. Ball to come out. Bronckhorst, ball at the feet. Ball to be won. Just uh, need to tie it up there. Ball still to be won. Ball comes out of the back. Here we go. Ball picked up there by Top Richards. He, he doesn't mind firing a ball. Oh, that uh, on the uh, bottom hand just gets released off. 20 seconds left in. Have they got time to tie this up? We see here Southwell picking up. Need to go to the cage. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Is there a game uh, tire here? Richards. Picks the ball up, Richards gets inside, fires. Oh, off the foot, goes wide. Three seconds we're hearing. Th three seconds left on the uh, clock. So it's gonna take a quick one here from East Frio to get an inbound what's going to be what's going to take longer is to get a new ball down the back cuz balls come from everywhere now so 3 seconds on the clock need a catch and catch and release here looks up needs to fire looks inside oh just misses the handle of the ball ball goes out of bounds and uh, the warriors will run out winners here 4-3 in the 1v2 final great job by both sides that was an entertaining game and uh, we uh, Congratulate the Warriors, but also East Fremantle. And what a great job they've done in uh, suiting up this weekend in this 500 tournament. Couple of uh, goal scorers in that final quarter. We had uh, Anthony Green with one for uh, Woodville and Mitch Kennedy just trying to uh, do his best to keep East Frio in the game. He gets one goal scorers for the game though we had Levy with one, Wills with one and Kennedy with one for East Frio and on Woodville we had Dan Philippa with one, Harry Walsh with one Kane Bennett with one and Green with one which will end up as a 4-3 game and uh, that is uh, all she wrote and we will uh, head up towards the uh, presentations very soon but congratulations to uh, the Warriors winning both the men's and the women's for the weekend. But uh, more than that, lacrosse was the winner here because uh, the four teams have battled it out all weekend in perfect weather, it's got to be said, on perfect fields uh, was uh, definitely the winner this weekend. So congratulations to all four sides that competed in this 500 tournament. Huge shout out to all the black and whites uh, referees and uh, we might just have a look at the replays uh, here of the last quarter. And uh, a couple of goals scored. And as uh, the boys just uh, go through their uh, chance behind, we see here Bennett in the man up, just uh, stepping down as he has all weekend. He gets to that 15 metre arc. Oh, actually, no, that was Green, sorry, who, uh, who had that. Sorry, that was Green in the fourth quarter. My bad, I'm looking at the third. So, uh, Green, and this was the one where, uh, that was the one where uh, Bennett ran down and popped it. And then there were two goals for East Fremantle this quarter. We had uh, Lockie Wills, just comes around the bottom corner, gets space and uh, pops it top shelf. And then Mitch Kennedy is the next one. Oh, sorry, this one is the Green one in the... Uh, fourth greenie just takes him down the bottom corner gets up top side little uh, back flip the slide doesn't come there and uh, he's able to free the hands and pop it down and the turnover happened here ball comes down through uh, Jensen and finds uh, Kennedy who uh, just rips it from outside to make it 4-3 in what was a fantastic contest uh, a couple of huge shout outs to uh, Callan up on the camera for that game and uh, and many games he's he's done 
Uh, to young Mr. Vickery, who was also up there for uh, a fair bit of the uh, contest throughout the weekend. We thank you to uh, James sitting in the back here, who's done a bit of work while Gilly was out and about. And I know he's uh, been watching intently on what Gilly's doing. So a uh, huge shout out to James Heron and uh, to Mr. Scotty Gill. Mate, uh, as always, doesn't run without you. And uh, the events don't look as good if you're not involved. So uh, shout out to Scotty Gill. Shout out to uh, everyone that tuned in on the Australian Lacrosse Network. And uh, we might uh, just wrap it up here from the beautiful Women's Memorial playing fields in this inaugural 500 tournament. But uh, we will be coming back to uh, do the closing ceremonies live and free. Uh, until the next time, we are on the Australian Lacrosse Network. And until the sticks are swinging, my name's been Tony Watts. Stay safe.